Blessings guys, my name is Chris Kendall, uh, one of the head chefs here, yoga teacher, presenter and food demo guy at the uh, Woodstock Fruit Festival at my own website, no rawadvantage.com and I'm going to show you today how to pick out a good durian. We got a lot of durians, durians usually either intrigue or repulse, either people just love them or curious about them or just want to stay away from them, I love them. I feel like, like most people, you gotta meet them a few times. Try them three times before you decide if you love them or not. Uh, they're definitely a different flavored food. To me, it tastes like pudding. Some people it tastes like gross things. Uh, but they really are quite amazing food. They're high in fat, high in carbohydrate, and high in protein. It's a really sweet, creamy fruit. Really, really old. Been there since we were in the jungles and tons and tons of animals like them that are from our ancestry, from gorillas, and then not from our ancestry, stuff, stuff like uh, tigers and anything else wild. So these are all frozen Mothong durians uh, from Thailand. They are selected uh, first or second choice, and you can get different vari uh, variations of them. So all of these, since they've been pre-frozen, they were picked right. And Generally, if I want to try and fine tune it and pick one that I love the most, I just look for one that has a uniform color. If it's got some brown, some green, it's not going to be quite as consistent generally. But I want to find one that's nice and brown, has a bit of a give to it since they're frozen. If it's really hard, then it's still frozen. And then the sec second extra tip is if you look on the bottom, there's like a button on the bottom. If there's a split or one of the seams is already coming open, awesome. That means it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to open and you're going to be able to get in there and get gooey as quick as humanly possible. Otherwise, I'll check a couple. This one's kind of soft. Otherwise, you've got to either use a knife, which some people do, or you got to just use your fingertips and pry into that crack, or you throw them on the ground. So let's see what we got going on. Let's see. Sometimes fruit just jumps out at you. And here's one right here. There's no bottom crack. I haven't noticed any crack in the bottom, but again, there's that bottom button. There's generally five segments inside, and it just magically splits up. So we'll open this up. I was first introduced to durians about nine years ago. I wasn't sure if I liked them. And after the second try, I was like, yeah, I kind of like this. For the third try, I was in love. That's generally what happens. You find people who just love them and can't get enough. They'll travel to Thailand just for durian festivals in June, July. And otherwise, people who seriously, they say, please get away with me. Get away from me with that durian. So, we've got that. I'll see if I can open it here first, and if not, we're going to throw it. But generally, you can do that, or otherwise, you can peel at a seam. You know what? I always default to throwing it. Let's just throw it. It's way more fun anyway, right? Who wants, who wants durian? Doug, do. Dr. Doug Graham, do you want some durian? Can you put it aside for me? Guaranteed I'll put some aside if for you. If you will put some durian yeah. aside for me, I will make a meal of durian. Yeah, how much do you want? Do you want this whole half? Whole half? Yeah, you want the whole unit. Half know. is not a unit. <laughs> whole is a unit. Would you like a half? Or a would you durian like, is a unit. <laughs> would you like the durian or would you like a pod? Or would you like two oh, pods? durian would be great. Your durian would be great? You want that little durian. bit off of there? Yeah, a little extra beet. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out and see yeah, if it's a good one. Make sure. If it's possible to have a durian, that would be great. But right now I'm in the middle of a bunch of other projects that have to get done before I can have my breakfast. So Let's see. Um, I'm going to test this out for you and see. If it was humanly possible to put aside a ridiculous little amount of durian for me, I would. Wow. So, you know, the thing that's really interesting about durian is the first bite, I was like, I'm not sure if this is a good one. And then all of a sudden, as it sunk in, I was like, this is a damn good durian. I could tell it's got flavors. Face. It's got layers, you know? So, dude, this is. I like it. First taste, honestly, as soon as it hits the tongue, I'm like, I don't know. Comes in, love it. This is one but of the best ones. It's good. But it's amazing because you can have the same variety of durian. And 100 of them taste different. They can all taste different. I've had some that taste exactly like Cool Whip. I've 
I've had some that taste some that taste exactly like vanilla ice cream. I've had some that taste like a uh, almond vanilla pudding. I've had some that taste exactly like butterscotch pudding. Some that taste like chocolate mousse. It's unbelievable. One of the most amazing fruits in the world. Hope to try it out. Come to Woodstock Fruit Festival. Much love.